Hey everyone, hi my YouTube friends. Today we're going to be installing a mailbox on a front door. Hey, if anyone could guess who these two people are in this picture, just leave it in the comments. So anyway, that's what was up on the door, was old mailbox like that. And uh, the person in this house was scared that uh, they have someone stalking them. And it is a fact, someone is stalking them. And they were scared that their mail was getting uh taken and gone over and then put back in the mailbox before they could retrieve it while they were out at work and running errands and stuff so we came up with the idea of installing a mail slot where the mail would be put uh, through the slot by the mailman into the locked house where it couldn't be uh gone over by the stalker so that's the reason also for looks too uh, you'll see when we're done looks a lot better the mail slot than what you see right here and we're going to show you the back of the door you can see that it's just the back of the door now this door actually has a layer of a quarter inch paneling on the back of the door which really wasn't an issue in installing the mail slot although if you look closely at the lock and the deadbolt they had to be trimmed to make the proper depth as the quarter inch of paneling glued and nailed to the back of the door made the door thicker than the standard inch and three quarters that most locks and deadbolts are designed for so when we took the old mailbox off there's a wicked looking paint line and as you can see there was an old mail slot underneath that on the inside was covered up with the quarter inch of paneling but on the outside was just covered up with the new mail box so we really didn't have a choice as to where to locate the new mail slot that choice has already been made by this hole in the door so the new mail slot being bigger than this we put the new mailbox over the new mail slot over the hole as I'm talking and showing you, you can see in this picture in the upper left is the new mail slot and uh, inside sleeve. The tools you'll need is like a power screwdriver would help, a drill, a jigsaw, extension cord, carpenter square, paint and primer, sandpaper, masking tape, regular screwdriver, couple of drill bits and a jigsaw blade. But a nice long jigsaw blade like a five or six inch jigsaw blade to cut all the way through the door here's a shot of a uh, couple of other the pencil you know tape measure there's the nice long jigsaw blade and the drill bit comes in handy for starting uh, to drill the corners to start your jigsaw cuts and that's a shot of the carpenter square you'll see there which came in handy in lining up the mail slot template to make sure everything came out nice and straight in the instructions for the mail slot the you can see there's actually a template printed on the back of the mail slot carton it's very important to use the template so you don't want to rip this open without checking where the template is because you will be needing it you use the template to mark the four corners which sets up where you're going to cut with your jigsaw and depending on the make and model of the mail slot you choose you're going to want to read the instructions supplied with it carefully along with watching this video and then you should have a really good start on getting your mail slot installed a really nice professional looking job that will keep your mail secure for ages and ages now as you can see we have opened the package and cut the template out along the lines provided by the manufacturer it's a nice brass mail slot you have an outside flap you have an inside trim they supply you with the hardware with the screws and the template that was on the back of the package we also made use of the level and that was basically to like check that the door was level and then to use that same level to square up the mail slot so it didn't look crooked but you could almost do the same thing with the carpenter square but we definitely did use the level 
In this shot here, you'll see I measured for the center of the door, which was 17 and 5 eighths. And I marked that on a piece of masking tape. The blue stuff is masking tape. And then I was able to center the template onto the center mark and thereby centering the mail slot in the door. But also note, while looking at this close-up, there's a few screw holes that um, the four around the old mail slot, we actually cut out installing the new mail slot. But the ones above the blue masking tape, we eventually filled in with a wood filler and then primed and, uh, and painted. But actually, the old paint line where you see the beige paint uh, behind the old mailbox and in the white paint we sanded all of that with like 120 sandpaper to knock down the ridges and edges and little paint lumps and stuff and then we hit it with a primer and uh, then a coat of exterior um, white that we didn't paint the whole door we just touched up the area and it ended up looking really good uh, this is a shot of the template also marked for center and we we lined up the center mark on this template with the center mark that you saw in the previous shot and then we had our mail slot centered then it was simply uh, mark the four where the circle and the X's are or the corners on that template uh, we used an awl or an ice pick and we just marked through those at the X's through those four corners and we had uh, uh, the lines to start jigsawing we use in the uh, the carpenter square to bring our center line down and all these skills, as I was telling you, we used a level to uh, to orient the uh, template uh, level to the floor. But the thing is, you want to check that the door is actually level too. Because if the door is off square and then you level a mail slot, it's going to look crooked. So, you, you know, you might want to like eyeball it too to make sure that everything looks straight before you start drilling. So you might end up leveling it by eye you might end up leveling it with a level you might end up using a combination of both but the thing is you want to eyeball it and make sure everything looks really good before you uh, start cutting and drilling because once you committed and started drilling holes you committed uh, it's really tough to turn things around after that point so you're definitely going to want to make sure uh, everything is is the way you want it before you start cutting because there's no turning back at that point so we double checked and we triple checked and we squared this and we leveled that and we lined up the old hole with the new hole and we really made sure everything was going to be just right before we started uh, with the saw. Then once we had everything lined up, we used the mallet and the awl or ice pick or center punch, whatever you want to call it, to mark our corners. And then once our corners were marked, we drilled and then cut with the jigsaw and then we sanded just to remove any splinters or any rough pieces around the edges and we're ready to start installing and there you go all finished here's a shot of the inside you can see it looks really nice it's a very simple job once you line it up uh, using the template that is supplied by the manufacturer and uh, I would say the most difficult thing was uh, cutting the hole uh, with the jigsaw, although it wasn't difficult, but that would be the most difficult thing. And if you can, you if you do own a, an electric or borrow an electric jigsaw with the long blade, with the long blade, because the standard blades won't cut all the way through the door, uh, which means you can't cut it with the standard blade. But get the long blade and uh, and drill your four corners and make your four jigsaw cuts, and you're all set. And the rest was just putting in screws. Here's an outside shot. You see it looks really nice. At this point, we filled in the holes with the wood filler. Um, we uh, The old holes. Uh, we have sanded with the 120 um, sandpaper. We sanded the old paint lines. And then we hit it with some primer. Okay, we hit it with some primer. And um, you can see it looks a 1,000% better at this point. All we have to do now is come along like a day later after the primer is dry and come with some exterior white. And if you want to paint the whole door, hey, it's going to look even that much better. But really, you just got to do that area where the old paint line is showing through the primer and you're all set. So have fun doing this job. 
Uh, ladies, gentlemen, if I helped you, give a thumbs up. It really helps me with this YouTube thing. If you didn't like the video, give the thumbs down. Feel free to leave any comments. And remember that other users come along and your comments can indeed help somebody down the road. A question or comment read by another YouTube user could just right away just answer their question. So don't be afraid to use the comment box. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to sub while you're here because this is the Handyman channel. And this is all little projects like this. And if someone's going through your mail, this is the way to stop them. You put the mail slot. The mailman has to put it through the mail slot. And, uh, and that's it. They can't go through your bills and your credit cards and your letters and your correspondence anymore. They can't get your account numbers and, and look at your bank statements or anything else. Everything is secure behind a locked door. All right, guys. Bye-bye.